Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge, back with another video. This time we're in Blender 2.81, and I wanna show you how to animate textures on nodes. And this is really cool, it's new, and I think you're gonna like it. So, I'm here with a basic split screen, okay? I have El Default Cubo, and I have a principled BSDF shader with a the new Voronoi texture, which is really cool in its own right, plugged into a color ramp and a bump, and it's just giving me this look inside of Eevee, okay? That's it, plain and simple. Now, what I wanna show you is really cool. If we wanted to, go ahead and animate this texture. We could have done a setup out here where we could have just plugged a whole bunch of things in and scale and, and, and rotate and all sorts of stuff. But now we have this really cool feature where you go from 3D, okay, you have 1, 2, 1D, 2D, 3D, and 4D. If I choose 4D, I now get this W, okay? Without going into it, okay, this is, the math behind this is really cool and it allows you to do some really cool rotation stuff. But we have this W input and output. And what this does is it allows us to animate the texture on the object without really affecting the scale. Okay, this is for Voronoi, right? So if I up the scale here and I still do this, look at that. So I'm animating without anything else being plugged in. I like this. It just makes this a lot faster and cooler. So if I were to simply just go ahead and uh, at frame one, I right click, I say insert keyframe here and I go to like say 96, okay? And I say like, uh, why not? One, I hit insert keyframe, okay? I now have this kind of morphing, really cool animated texture without any other setup other than this W. And then if you wanted to, like you change distance here, you change this to W for the height. So you see here, you're getting this really interesting look, okay? Or just, you know, go back to what you were at. And you can plug this into a whole lot of different things and get different looks and different feel and a whole bunch of different cool things going on. So I foresee a million new tutorials coming out with this, showing you how to do this, but this is really cool. And it works with noise texture and it works with Voronoi texture, okay? These are the, the two others that I found that this works with and it's really, really fun to use. So go at, have fun, play around with it, and I think you're gonna like it. Thanks, talk to you in the next one, bye.